You don't have to look very hard on YouTube to find funny videos of a woodcock bouncing with each step set to the music of Stayin' Alive or other catchy tunes. No doubt it's eye-catching and can provoke a lot of laughs. But woodcocks aren't the only ones who have some pep in their step. Let's explore four birds who have this distinctive bouncing behavior and the current theories about why they do it. I want to be upfront so people don't get mad at me in the comments. I give that qualifier because there's still a lot of speculation. We're not 100% sure and we are still learning. The first two are the American Woodcock and Wilson Snipe. I'm putting them together because there's a lot of similarities between the two. Both of them are found in North America, and both are in the family of shorebirds known as Scolopacidae. Before I continue, though, I want to point something out. There are other species of woodcock and snipe in other parts of the world who also have the bouncing behavior. It's not just limited to the American woodcock and Wilson snipe. Okay. Perhaps the most prevailing theory is that the bouncing is their version of worm charming. The vibrations for their bouncing causes worms to move, making them more easily detected. They bounce, then probe their bill into the soil to see if they catch a worm. If they don't, they continue bouncing and then try again. The tip of their bill is full of sensory nerve endings that allow them to feel the worm in the soil. It gets even better, though. The tips of their bills are flexible and can open up just a little bit at the end to grasp the worm while the rest of the bill remains closed. For more information on bendable beaks, see my video on rhynchokinesis. It's a really interesting and surprising phenomenon. It's also a possibility, perhaps to a lesser degree, that they may be able to hear worms moving or feel vibrations from their movement as well. Quick side note, how do you tell a woodcock apart from a snipe? Woodcocks have horizontal barring on their head relative to the beak, and snipe have vertical stripes. Woodcocks also have a plain cinnamon belly, whereas snipes have barring with a white belly. Let's move on to bird number three, the American Dipper. There's five species of dipper in the world, three that bounce or dip, and two that do not. The main theory for why they dip is as a form of visual communication. These birds hang out among loud, rushing rapids that could easily drown out the sound of their calls. So the dipping may be a way of communicating to another dipper within sight. Another idea is that it helps them to better judge depth and distance of prey below the water's surface, a theory known as triangulation. It's also plausible that the movement may help conceal them from predators. Being in constant motion next to moving water makes it harder for a predator to pick out their shape. And lastly, the spotted sandpiper. They are easy to identify by their constantly bobbing rear end as they walk, forage, or pretty much do anything. It is one of only two birds in its genus, the other being the common sandpiper, found in Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia, which does the same behavior. So what's the reason for the constant bouncing booty of these two sandpipers? The answer is, we still don't know. But here are some things that we do know. The chicks are precocial, and they start this bouncing behavior shortly after hatching. They primarily eat small invertebrates and aquatic larvae by probing their bills into the soil or by lunging at moving prey. Like the woodcock and snipe, who are expert bouncers, spotted and common sandpipers are also in the family Scolopacidae. We know that when they're nervous or agitated, the rate of bouncing increases, and when they're alarmed, courting, or displaying aggression, the bouncing stops. So in these cases, it serves as a form of communication. One theory is that the constant teetering helps them to maintain balance while walking on pebble-filled and rocky shores.
What other birds do this bouncing behavior that could be included on this list? Or do you have any ideas of why the spotted and common sandpipers bounce? Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.